there, this is Aaron from Safe Software, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can access the job history of an FME server installation, and you can access that right inside of Workbench. Uh, so on this page we offer a custom, uh, custom format for, for accessing that information, and what you can access is what you see here, things like uh, what was the, the workspace that was run, um, the date, uh, and so on. So to get this custom format, you click on it, open it up, it'll prompt you to install it, which is great. It's now installed, so it can be used. The next step is to open up Workbench and to actually start using it. So this is for FME Server and FME Desktop 2012, not designed for 2011 or, or previous. Uh, if we come in here, I can, um, I can create a new workspace here, generate a workspace start with uh, FME server FME server and there's a new uh, format called job history there then um, perhaps I want to do more with this history than just look at it maybe I want to see what the most common workspace was so I'm going to use a new format a newly supported format called fusion tables and use its uh, visualization tools to see what's going on in my install with my history, what, people, what my users are doing with it. Click OK. FME does its thing. Those are the two tables that you have access to. And at this point, uh, we're not too interested in the parameter table, so I'm just going to disable that. Move it down there. But of more interest to me is the, the, uh, the job history table. So I want to run it up there, but there's one change I have to make in user attributes. And that is to make sure that these, are, these two attributes are called date and time. So that allows me to do some fancy things in Google. Uh, I'm going to hit run, run it up there. It's asking for my database name of FME server, and that's almost always FME server. Hit run. It's going to run through up there. And once it finishes, I can then go and I can take a look at that information in Google. So once you're logged in, uh, you can get to, uh, you go to documents, and that's how you get to Google Fusion. And here's the table I wrote, so if I come in here, I can then look at that table. Here's all the information, uh, but I'm really interested in doing some visualization. So what's the most common workspace, for example? I can come in, click Aggregate, and I can aggregate by workspace. Hit Apply, and then it gives me the count here, but if I want to visualize, I can easily go up to Visualize and see a bar chart, and that's kind of a nice way to look at it. But what about if I want to see uh, the, work, the load on the server over time? I can go aggregate by date submitted instead and then visualize a timeline so this will show me the activity and if I drag it over to most recent I can see that yesterday was not as busy as today and you can kind of start to see the pattern over time you can also do this based on month if you want um, so really nice platform to give you some visualization and uh, help you with seeing your job history. Now what if you want to get a little more fancy and you want to see maybe you've got a data download service for example this one here users are able to provide the bounding box or a polygon um, maybe you want to see where users are downloading data the most. Uh, for that we can get a little more complicated and just one moment so for that, what I've done is I've got a workspace already, and now I'm reading the parameter table, and I'm looking at those parameters. In here, I'm testing to see if a parameter is the minimum x, then I want to rename it so that it's called min x, then I want to aggregate, and I want to take the parameters and turn them into a bounding box and write that to Google, uh, Google uh, Spreadsheets. Uh, sorry, to Google Fusion Table, not Spreadsheets. Um, let me run that. So now I'm here uh, visualizing the, the table I've just written up there, including geometry. Uh, what I can do is I can click Visualize Map, and that will actually show me now the bounding boxes of the area where people are downloading. So a quick way to get your job history up to Google Spreadsheets, or you can use any program and look at it, examine it, understand what's going on with your server. So that's a, a, a quick uh, video for you guys, and uh, feel free to check out safe.com for more information or FMEpedia to see uh, and access this demo. Thanks for your time.